In this small blender tutorial, I will give you an idea why the order of your modeling steps is very important in some cases to create a specific design. To explain that, I'm just creating the 2D block out at there with the simple steps and easily you can create it. Right order will help you to reduce your efforts and improve your modeling speed. So you can see here I have created the simple design. Then shift D to duplicate it and move it little bit along the X axis. Now just go to the rate mode of this model and then select everything and then press I for the insert operation. And then select everything and then E to extrude it along the Z axis as like this. Ok. Now I'm going to select this top edge loop and then move it along the Z axis. I just want to create that sharper edge. Suppose it is a blade and I want a sharper edge at there. So that's why I can move that edge along the Z axis to create the sharper edge. But I can't create this kind of slope form at there because I have used the insert operation at the first place. Rather than doing this, there is another way. So I'm going to show you the second scenario. Just turn off that annotation. And now here you need to select this face and then E to extrude it. Okay. Now you need to select the edges, these corner edges as like this and then scale them along the Z axis in this way. And you can create that sharper edge for the blade or any model. It's totally depend on your design. So I can scale it along the Z axis as like this. Then just scale these words along the X axis to perfectly match them. And you can see it looks nice. I have created that slow form at there and I have got that sharper edge. And then you can use just an insert operation and you can create the right topology. And you can see the difference in these two models. And now you can understand the basic 2D blockout was the same. But when we create a 3D form, we need to understand the design and then we need to start to model it. So it will be more easier for us. And after creating the right topology, you can see these two forms at here. Just move it along the Z axis as like this and then scale it along the Z axis in this way. So I got two different forms for the blade, I can say. And here I have created the slope, you can see. I have created the slope along the X axis as well as along the Y axis. But uh, in the first scenario, it's quite difficult for me to create that kind of slope after using the insert operation. I can do that also, but I need to remove that insert operation at the first place. So this is the simple modeling advice. The order of your modeling steps is also important. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye bye. See you next video. Take care.